Hey guys, it's Farad Porcelain and back for a new video. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Farad. I love Nicki Minaj and boys with curly hair. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. I have something really exciting for you guys today. I just got the new Anastasia and Alyssa. Edwards, I was gonna say Alyssa Ashley. Bitch. Alyssa Edwards um, palette in the mail. Bitch is a huge deal. Um, if you guys uh, know Alyssa Edwards, she is a drag queen that comes from Texas. She became, I mean, I'm sure she had like her uh, fan base and everything, but she came like really popular after appearing on season five of RuPaul's Drag Race. Bad rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. She's just a huge star now. She has a Netflix show. She is doing the most, and I'm so proud of her. So before I actually get into everything that has to do with the palette, I just want to say a huge congratulations to Alyssa um, for you know just securing this deal with ABA. Just a huge thing, and I'm so proud of her. Um, yeah, it's just a really big deal, and I'm really proud of Alyssa and where she came from. I actually started watching Republic Drag Race. The first season that I watched was season five, which is where Alyssa was on. She easily became one of my favorites like she was just so funny so cute and she just seems like one of those queens that is just genuinely nice like you can tell she was just there you know to get her crown she was friends with everyone I mean like unless you watch the show you know her thing with Coco Montrese but that even then I feel like that it wasn't that serious um she's just one of those queens that is very likable um needless to say I'm just really proud okay I'm just that oh okay. jumping into the palette I think it is so pretty if you guys can see it's just super hot pink love the detailing with the eyes at the front very reminiscent of you know the Kylie Kai shadow thing but I think this is done in a different way you can just tell like when you look at this it's just so Alyssa she always wears like a super bright hot pink lip very close to this I'm not the biggest fan of pink which that's just me but I think for Alyssa it just works perfectly jumping into the colors no bitch everyone who knows me knows that I've been wanting Anastasia to release colorful shadows for the longest because honestly it makes my favorite shadows it's just a fact like it, 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 it just, it's just a fact I got a little taste of what it was like to use colorful shadows from Anastasia when they released the Riviera palette which is really great it's just the only thing with the Riviera palette was that a lot of the colors in it was colors that I had already like the the main pops of color the uh, pink and the purple were colors that are very similar to the purple and the pink in the James Charles and Morphe palette y'all know how much I love that palette so th that was the thing with that one but with this palette, I feel like there are a lot of shades that I don't have and bitch, I'm so excited to try them out. I did not swatch. I did not try nothing. This is complete first impression. I literally just got this palette in the mail. I'm so excited for this shade, for um, the Texas Made, because I feel like it's a deeper pink than the one that's in the James Charles palette and in Riviera. And I'm so super excited for this yellow which is called brick road because if y'all know every brown girl every dark skin person they just really need a proper yellow and it's really hard to find a yellow that's super pigmented um usually like with uh, people who are lighter skin it's easier for those colors to show up on them just because they have that you know like that like white that whiteness you know i've heard that it's super hard to formulate yellow shadows and that's why it's hard to find one that shows up very well so i'm super excited to see how anastasia was able to do this because i know norvina wouldn't push anything out unless it's perfect so i'm super excited to try this but yeah enough of me rambling on and on if you guys want to see my dumbass play with this palette then please continue watching bitch Okay y'all, so the brows are on and we are ready to get into the goodies. Not only do I have the palette to try, Anastasia also just came out with a brand new eyeshadow primer and y'all know ever since I tried the uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC um, with the James Charles palette, I have fallen in love with eyeshadow primers I can't do, I can't even think about doing my makeup without them now. So I always keep them in my rotation whenever I do eyeshadow, I always have to use them. That being said, since I did fall in love with the Soft Ochre, that's what I've been using. I don't use any other eyeshadow primer, so I'm really excited to try this one out. The only thing is that this only comes in one shade, I believe it's a lighter shade. However, Miss Samantha Ravendahl came through and she said that she really likes this, and I trust that bitch on my life. Listen, if Miss Ravendahl says it's good, that means it's good. This is the eyeshadow primer. Very silver, very Anastasia, serving clear brow gel realness. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and apply it with my Morphe E32 brush. Y'all know this is my, that's, that's my good, good sis. The consistency seems a little liquidy. Um, so I'm gonna see how that uh, kind of deals with on my eye. The color, again, y'all can see that. That is very light. I'm a little concerned just because, you know, a bitch got some melanin. You know, it's just there. 
So I'm gonna see how this works. Then again, I don't bring this all the way up to my brow bone. I wonder how it is with my finger. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. Yeah, it is pretty liquidy, but it is. it feels very smooth. Like it doesn't feel cakey at all. The thing with my soft ochre is that it tends to feel a little bit gritty at some points. Wow, that covers very well. That's super light. So first, first, first impressions. I just blended everything out and I'm actually really liking how the way it feels because it feels super, super light weight like usually when I put on uh, my soft ochre I can still feel a little something on my lip which I don't mind because like I'm putting on makeup I know what I'm doing um, but this is super lightweight it doesn't feel like I have much on my eye I'm gonna put it on my other side and we're gonna get straight into it now please don't drag me but lately I've actually been liking using tape on the sides to clean up my shadow I find it actually just makes everything so much easier so I'm gonna do that today to start everything off I'm gonna go in with the color dream it I'm gonna use that as my crease color at the bottom here I'm just gonna use my Anastasia a12 brush if you guys are worried about fallout there is a little bit of fallout but like every Anastasia palette has fallout and I personally really don't care about fallout um, so let's just get right into it so miss Anastasia said y'all want pink Pigment? I'll give you pigment, period. Okay guys, so next on that same brush, I'm gonna go in with the color Believe. Believe doesn't have as much fallout as Dream It, but let's just go in, just in case you guys are wondering. scary part I'm scared I'm gonna mess up this look because I want to take a little bit of Texas made which is the pink and kind of just bring it all around here so that the entire look has a bit of pink in it um, I'm gonna take that on my Morphe M441 brush pray for me y'all While you guys are here, I can't believe my dumbass forgot to say to subscribe. If y'all aren't subscribed, what's it gonna cost you? It won't cost you nothing. I'm sure you wanna see the next video. I know y'all probably think, you know, this is cute. I'm just subscribe. And while you're subscribing, give the video a like. You know, I'll, I'll just, I'll give you a second. I'm just, you know, I'm just here, but like, y'all go like the video, go subscribe. I'm, I'm blending, I'm blending. I'm going to take a little bit of the blue and just kind of re-intensify it because it kind of lost it a bit by adding the pink. And I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush. I just picked this brush up from the Morphe store. I'm so excited because this is exactly what I bought it for. I wanted a tiny brush to kind of be able to get in that crease and really intensify those colors. I'm gonna pick up a little pink just to blend it back. Now I'm gonna re-intensify the purple. So I think I have the crease exactly where I want it to be now. I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'll come back and we'll do the cut crease and all of that. I'll be right back. So the other side is done and I was waiting to take these off because it is satisfying as hell. Ooh, look at that line, bitch. Y'all see that line? Now that this is all done, I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow primer. A lot of people have been like taking a makeup wipe and getting rid of the inner parts. I don't usually do that, but should I do that? Should I be like, should I be like a real YouTuber and do that? Do I have makeup wipes? What am I doing? I really hope I don't mess up this entire look by trying to do this. <laughs> I'm trying my best to remove as much as I can, but let's see. I do plan on putting a yellow on top. Take a little bit of the primer on my hand. I use my trusty E32 brush that I always use to cut my crease. But that did an amazing job covering. Wow, I really like this primer. I'm ready to try this yellow because Honestly, for being real here, the shadows are great, primer great. I was the most excited to try this yellow. I'm taking a little bit of Brick Road. It looks promising. In terms of how much I like the yellow so far, I think it's on par with my favorite yellow, which is the um, yellow from the tiny cover shop palettes that Smashbox did with Shay Mitchell. Um, in the rainbow one, I think this is the bold palette. The yellow in that is my favorite yellow. I love that yellow so much. This seems like it's on par with that one. Okay guys, so that's pretty much everything I wanna do with the yellow. I think it looks great. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna um, smoke out the edge with a little bit of purple. I'm gonna do my face and everything, and I'll come back and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Um, so yeah, okay guys, so I just finished the rest of my face off camera and I am back. I have to say, like, just before I get into all the details, I'm super impressed with how everything turned out. Um, 
just a little heads up like I didn't feel like doing much highlighter or anything today I just wanted to focus to really be on the eyes you know I always add my dots so that was good that was a given I'm really impressed with how everything turned out I think that the palette they did a great job on I out of everything I think I'm most impressed with the eye primer I just really love the way that it felt on my eyes it was super lightweight and it just made the shadows adhere to my eyes so nicely I definitely want to play with some other shadows um, with this primer uh, specifically ones other than ABH just so I can see like if the uh, formula for this works well with other brands if you guys are thinking if you need to buy it or not I would absolutely say to buy it and just to let you guys know I did get this in PR but if I didn't uh, get it in PR that being said even after using it I would absolutely go out and buy this I did try the crazy colors today I do want to try the neutrals I'm really excited because these uh these colors over here they don't look too light and I'm really excited about that like it looks super uh, brown girl friendly um, it has a black in it. I'm just I always say like you always have to include a black in every palette This just checks everything on my list like it has the black it has the white the pops of color I believe this retails for $55 Canadian. I am in Canada if you guys didn't know so I just rechecked trend mood They didn't list the price of the eyeshadow primer, but bitch, I'm telling you y'all need to try this primer I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm definitely gonna be trying this in the future Other than that if you guys like this look if you like me Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already it really means it means so much when y'all subscribe like on some real shit it really does if you want to follow me on my socials i'm always posting on there i'm always posting looks always tweeting some dumb shit on twitter if you guys want to follow me there but yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching i know i haven't been active on here so it means so much um whenever you guys do watch my videos i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys